hey guys welcome back to my channel sharon here and i'm so excited to be back today with a new video so today i'll be discussing about how life has been so far in the uk for me so mind you this is not like a culture show video or any of that because i've just been here for like two weeks i'm still settling in so I don't really know that much to be making comparisons right now so this is just like a chit chat video to tell you guys what i've been up to and um, how life has been so far here all right um let's get started um so first things first right now is summer but guys it's really not summering okay <laughs> the summer is just a scam because since i've been here it's been raining literally every day like i've been here for two weeks as i said it's been raining every single day here like uh right now i even think it's about to rain i just saw a little bit of sunshine and i decided to do this video <laughs> because sometimes it rains and then you see the sun and it rains and then you see the sun but some days it gets so bad that it rains all through the day like it keeps drizzling all through the day so that's why i've not really been out there like to take pictures do vlogs and all of that because like most time it's just raining i don't know what to do <laughs> so these people are like sure where's your vlogs where's your video where's your pictures this is what's going on bro it's raining i can't go out bring out my camera and be doing videos out in the rain maybe it's because of where i'm staying because when i was in london i was seeing a lot of sun um so here in the northeast england newcastle to be precise it's been raining literally every day the one thing i love about this place is how easy the transport system is here like the public transport system here is so nice and so efficient as well coming from south africa where i was the public transport uh, was kind of limited okay so but here is so so efficient like i can literally go to anywhere i want to without having to order for uber or look for someone to drive me to where i want to so i'm just like going out and out there with my car clink 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 going anywhere i want to with the bus like i don't even need to order uber i'm just trying to say that it's quite efficient here the public transport system is efficient i love it <laughs> another thing again that i observe is that there are very few black people in the uk like i feel like the blacks are like the minorities like there are more asians than there are black people and this is so shocking to me because with the rate of japa that was going on in nigeria i felt like when i come here to the uk i will see a lot of black people like i will see a lot of nigerians here and even the first day i came here the first day i landed to the uk in london i saw my former colleague my classmates i saw her on the street like i was walking down the street and i saw her I was like yes i'm with dean i'm now going to see a lot of my friends here i'm going to see a lot of nigeria not only nigerians but a lot of my friends who are here but the thing here is that a lot of africans a lot of nigerians in the uk but to see them around is quite hard for me i don't know i don't know how to explain it <laughs> so the question is where are they like are they at work what's going on where is everyone where are all the black people that i know like i can't even see any of them when i'm walking around it's probably they are work or something so but i don't really see a lot of black people especially here in this newcastle okay like in london i saw a lot of black people people of color asians and all of that but here in this newcastle we are very very small this also is the same thing like when i went to enroll my daughter to a school and so it kind of made me uncomfortable i guess they're just kids and we will have to deal because there's nothing else i'm going to do about it is the school nearest to us and it's a very nice school so but what i'm trying to say is that i swear to see more black people here but there are very very few black people in this area okay in terms of schooling my daughter's school is totally not free and i think it's the same for everyone around especially if your child is under three if your child is still very little like if she's still in the nursery department preschool you have to pay a certain amount of fee especially for preschool is not totally free here so i think when you get to your primary school secondary school the screen is free but when you are still in the pre-k like the preschool the nursery you are going to pay a certain amount of fee and i thought it was going to be totally like 100% free of your child what else aha gotcha one mistake that i made and one thing i regret not doing is getting nigerian foodstuffs before coming here because the prices of nigerian foodstuffs in this country is so illegal like it's very criminal especially here i'm staying the prices are so so 
off the roof okay <laughs> and the reason why i couldn't buy these roosters when i was coming from south africa was that they were also pricey in that place so i didn't bother buying them but i would have gotten them because the prices there are way better compared to the prices here in the uk so this is like one thing i totally regret not doing i would have gotten a lot of nigerian food before coming anyway it's not really a much of a big deal because I'm trying other dishes, okay? Trying pasta, mashed potato and egg, you know, other dishes apart from the Nigerian Ebusi, Eban, all of that. Let that one rest for now because I can't imagine buying those food stuff for that very, very pricey amount, okay? Thank you. <laughs> so that's what's been going on so far, so good. I'm really enjoying it. As you can see, I'm looking good and all. And yes, yeah, so far, so good. I love the UK. I love Newcastle. I love here. And I'll also be doing more videos for you guys. So if you have any question, if you have any kind of video you want me to do, of course, I'll be doing vlogs. So when the time is right and when the weather is good, I intend to go out and do videos and, you know, try and discover the Newcastle. So that one is, is is already going to be in the back but if there are any other videos you want me to do or if there are any questions that you would love me to answer in my videos and all of that then please do feel free to say that below on the comment section of course i'm always there to reply comments and to chat with you guys so please engage my videos and uh, share it subscribe like if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to my channel okay thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>